Good afternoon. My name is Manny Roman and I am the CEO of PIMCO. We are celebrating our 50th anniversary in 2021. We started in Newport Beach, somehow by luck, and we are still there. We manage more than $2.1 trillion in assets, and we have clients all over the world. Someone told me it's more than 50 co different countries, and regardless of where our clients are, we have provided our client with best-in-class investment solution and services. And I think part of our success is our client-centric culture and the fact that we have an investment process which really hasn't changed over the past 50 years. We have an investment committee where we meet three times a week. We discuss macro trend, we discuss the Fed, we discuss emerging market, we discuss real estate, we discuss many different things which are relevant to making the right investment decision. And it's one firm, it's one view, and it's one drive to deliver alpha to our clients. If you look at the next slide, you could see that our investment returns from, from our clients has been the foundation of our growth engine. And we think constantly about risk management. 2020 had its many challenges in terms of what to do in the COVID epidemic. We try to find customer solution for our clients, and we want to deliver long-term ad performance to our clients. You can see that 91% of our assets are above the benchmark over the past five years, which is a sign of alpha, and 96% of our fund are above our peers. If you look at the next slide, the industry has benefited from market beta. And if you look at any equity manager, you can see that the rise of the equity market has drafted, has dropped, sorry, the inflows that they could get. We have grown organically, and we have grown seeing strong client demand via net inflows. And if you look at the last three years, the market returns have driven 75% of the industry growth in terms of asset under management, while for PIMCO, we have experience of 40% higher growth rate from client inflows relative to the industry. If you look at the next slide, you could see the resiliency to our business and the fact that we have a long history of serving clients in both retail and institutional markets across the globe. We have tried to build an offering where we think of the various need of our clients, but also the various source of alpha in every region of the world. And as emerging market grows, and as the world become bigger and bigger, we find new source of alpha. And I think it's important as someone who's been in this business for 35 years to think that we constantly need to strive for new source of alpha, because at the end of the day, the ability to outperform is what makes an asset manager special. It also enables PIMCO to quickly adapt to growth area and opportunity, but also to continue to provide solution and deliver on client needs. We have clients all over the world. They have complicated issue in terms of delivering solution to their own retiree and benefit of the plans, we're here to help them. If you look at the next slide, you could see that we have had a pretty good five years. Scale and diversification, and of course, our performance of returns have translated into strong business result. And you can look of our asset under management and revenue, and they have grown 1.4 times since 2016. While our profit, or operating profit have grown one and a half times. And I think it's a testimony to the fact we run a tight ship and the fact that we have a declining cost income ratio. It's been in 2021, another positive year for PIMCO. Our projection for the full year remain in a range 
And of course, we are subject to a number of variables, including performance fee that won't crystallize until the end of the year, and of course, currency and market value until the 31st of December. When you look at the next slide, you could see that our strategy starts with our clients. Our clients have problems, they have needs, and our initiative, what we decide to invest in, are shaped by what our clients want. We focus on building our next generation solution with alternative and private credit, ESG, and of course, retirement across the globe. And to do this, we need to keep on hiring people, we need to invest in technology and analytics, and we need to invest in digitization. So we're transforming and adopting our organization into the future. And what's really important is because human capital matters so much, we have to instill a culture of inclusion and diversity as well as innovation. We need to be able to hire the best people, make them feel welcome, and feel that PIMCO is the place where they want to be. I always think that the strength of an organization are the 25 to 20 to 35 year old people that, that will be here 20 years from now. I would also say that what makes us special is a strong partnership with Allianz. Let me talk about alternative for one second. The PIMCO alternative asset under management are four times larger than it was five years ago. And I think it's been trying to expand from a existing core competency in public fixed income into private credit, real estate, hedge fund, but also solution for the retail market, which are interval fund and close end fund. And we've seen a lot of opportunities in 2020. The market got dislocated and we've been able to put to work a lot of assets in the private side. You can see also on the next slide that it's been really important to invest significantly in building a technology and being able to invest into the transformation of our core business, enhancing our investment process with analytics, providing best in class client experience with our digital client platform, but also sometimes going on the outside and doing partnership and taking stake in companies such as Beacon and Hub. And I think we need to be open to sometimes look at the evolution on the outside with blockchain and what else we can do in terms of finding a way to optimize the efficiency of PIMCO. Let me say a few words about our strong relationship with Allianz, which is the next page in the presentation. As a parent, as a client, and as a partner. And it's been a key element of a successful growth, but also the execution of our business opportunity. And for a long time, of course, PIMCO has united with our Alliance Life partners to product development and distribution across various regions and life products. But it's more than this. It's also about us being able to have learned from our parent. We run a really good financial institution group. We manage money for a lot of other insurance companies than Allianz. And being able to learn from Allianz has, better, has made us better manager for other people. And that has been a really good and productive relationship, which started with a friendship between Oliver Batter and myself. If you look at the next slide, you're going to see that the industry has experienced a big difference between leaders and laggers, and that the capital markets are pricing a premium to leading asset manager that showcase breadth, scale, the ability to change, and a diversified strategy mix. So that is really important to keep in mind. We are, we are looking all the time at the public market. We know what the public market rewards, and we also try to focus on places where we can add value. And we can add value to clients knowing what we know how to do and what we don't know how to do. So as we look forward, expanding our ESG and retirement platform are two important topics for PIMCO and for Allianz. 
we look to advance the next wave of solution for clients in this space. But of course, one crucial ingredient is to keep on hiring the best people and a total commitment to a culture of inclusion and diversity. And we strongly believe that the best talent leads to the best thinking and the best outcome for our clients and our business. And I think our inclusion and diversity strategy is to attract, develop, retain, and get top talent in a diversified and global manner. So PIMCO continues to actively pursue investment excellence while seeking to evolve and to meet different needs from our client in the context of very dynamic markets and policy environment where, to be honest, nothing is cheap and we will need to navigate this for the years to come. This is a special year for PIMCO as we celebrate a notable milestone in our history and we look forward for the many opportunities to serve our clients for the next 50 years.